many of these events in childhood just are not noted. And basically because of the lack of identification, it can then lead to misappropriate diagnosis, it can lead to misappropriate treatment, it can be lead to misappropriate uh, administration of medications, a whole host of things that are not good for the child. And there's been an assumption that um, children with concussion are quite resilient uh, and um, that so I think many of them probably don't even make it uh, to to the doctor and certainly not to the hospital so um, this is one potential problem that they may be experiencing symptoms especially in the early days or weeks um, because they're children they're less able to articulate those symptoms and less able to understand them so um, it's been fairly well shown that, that children do report fewer symptoms um, and it's not necessarily the case that they're not experiencing them but it's possible that they're just not able to uh, identify them clearly. Dr. Wayne Gordon of Mount Sinai School of Medicine has conducted notable research documenting lapses in identification of children with TBI in New York special education programs. One of the things that we found is that consistently over the five years of this grant, the, the interval between injury and when the kids were identified was five years. So for five years, these children were sitting in their classrooms not learning. For five years, these kids were sitting in their classrooms more than likely failing. Dr. Gordon also found that 40% of young children referred into special education programs in the Denver School District had an unidentified TBI. Random screening of children in New York City schools revealed that even 10% of regular and gifted curriculum students had an unidentified TBI. Educating a child with TBI in a special ed setting is significantly more costly than in a regular classroom that provides appropriate accommodations. Right now there are six million children receiving special education in this country. According to the epidemiology of brain injury, we know that there should be 500,000 children identified in the schools who are receiving services as children with a TBI. There are only 24,000 children who have been identified with a TBI in this country. So that's less than 5% of what the number should be. So we're not doing en enough in terms of identifying children. In adults, what we find is that you'll often find unidentified folks with TBI in all kinds of social programs or in psychiatric clinics. In children, you'll often see those kids with TBI mislabeled. So people are quick to use a label. So if it looks like an ADHD or an attention deficit disorder, it's not necessarily an ADHD. Children with TBI sometimes have attentional difficulties, but they also have memory problems. They also have executive function difficulties.